Juicy is a business that um, is 100% owned, owned by my family, so my brother and I are the majority shareholders, um, along with our father, Chris. So we've been involved in the tourism game for a long time. My father set up Maui Camper Vans way back in the day before he sold it to Tourism Holdings. So we've known the game pretty well, um, but we're kind of the, I suppose, the next generation coming on through. We call ourselves the next generation tourism marketing business primarily. It just happens to run cars and campers and a few hotel rooms. They got us going, we were 35, we took a loan off the old man at pretty commercial rates. And we um, just opened this little garage out of part now we put 35 cars lined up at the front there and put these four red signs on. And expecting everyone just to turn up because we were awesome. We were 25 and 26 and we, we were arrogant and we thought, yep, it's going to turn up. And no one did. And we ended up having to, yeah, we were calling the office to make sure the phone worked and just no one turned up. Apparently you've got to go out there and chase business. Didn't realise it. Thought we'd just go ahead and get it. So we thought, oh, what are we going to do? Shit. Uh, okay, so we um, we decided we'd go to what we knew, because the old man had spent his whole life travelling to Germany trying to get business, so and to work in the travel agency. So we went and targeted the travel agent. We knocked on the door, and they just looked at us a box in our heads. They're like, mate, really? But anyway, we went to the travel agencies, and they said, you know what? What's your point of difference? Not really interested. Can't be all changing. Good luck. So then we went to the back of the travel agencies. That market, and they kind of said the same thing. Yeah, we had businesses out there who've been dealing with these guys for 20 years. So we thought, oh shit, what are we going to do? So we thought, online. So we thought, okay, that's us. We'll go ahead and we'll build a website. Now, everyone at this stage it sounds ridiculous, but at this stage, everyone had a website, but they all weren't really that truly embracing the e-commerce. So we built this website, and we looked at all our competitors' website. No one would enable you to, to book online. You know, everyone would have, you'd have to email a quote and it would take 24 hours to get back to say the vehicle that was available. I don't even think the multinationals enabled you to actually physically book something straight away and get an instant answer. We thought, that's our point of difference. But that's kind of how we, we got going and that's kind of how the online space sort of worked for us. We were the first people to really enable anyone to book instantaneously, either a sort of link through to anything. And we got going. So that was really how we got going and, um, and today you know, it stands 80% of our business. Um, comes via uh, the online space of IRL, our distribution channels outside of the traditional trade. We spend a lot on Google AdWords. Um, you know you spend a lot on Google AdWords when they give you an account manager and they send you a Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all on some this, this paid space, and as you guys, I'm sure all of you are aware about up here is you know, your paid advertising space. Car rentals, car rental hire New Zealand, accommodation in New Zealand, accommodation in Auckland. You know, you can be paying up here upwards of six or eight dollars a click. So anyone who clicks on that, bang, can't cost you. So it's it's a big challenge. It's one area which we get the majority of our business from, but it's also an area which is becoming a true cost of business. We used to work on about ten percent. It's slowly creeping up to where your traditional distribution channels are 20, 25 percent commission rates are going. So, but what is really interesting with us is we're slightly different to a lot of our competitors who play in this space up here, um, and we do that simply on the basis that. As you would have seen from us, we're, we're fundamentally a branding business. We spend an absolute fortune on our brand. Um, you can probably see I'm a total token brand person, from the watch down to the down to the belt, down to the shoes. And what that does do, though, it is, is it means that we don't have to compete a lot in that space. So the top six, six, six search terms for, that we get traffic to with our business all comes under the juicy brand. And we trademark that on Google, so none of our competitors can use that in the, key, in the keywords. And it's the cheapest way that we get business So there's a real benefit in having a, a strong brand that, that people actually are searching for as opposed to just trying to compete in that generic space, which is getting to be ridiculously expensive. And the consolidators involved now, you know, your bookings.com, these guys are willing to pay whatever to get, 